All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Bo Crusher. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. So the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. 
right single collar tie now. Again, back into this position. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, huge overhand there. Punches blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Real quick leg kick. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he's staying up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your tough. That punch no good. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Punch over the top. Get out of there. Just misses with the straight right. Nice body kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Straight right hand now just misses. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. John Flip with the right hand. Well, missed on that one. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Unable to land with that punch. Big right hand there. Ooh, what a punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Left hook found its target. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well placed kick there by Lee. Right on the button. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big ball for punch land. Now get back to range. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Well, 
he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Liver kick. Try to establish that jab. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Misses with the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, what a punch. Lee's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. attempt there is blocked. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Just misses with the right. Beautiful body kick. Great punch. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Man. Whoa! What a He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. I'll try it, I'll try it. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all the way to the Oh, finish. now he's in trouble. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Straight punch lands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big leg kick land. A nice jab to the dome by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch the big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation 
of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Third round underway. Nice punch by Lee. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lunges forward with a left there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with that right hook. Right hook to the head block. Single collar tie now. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Then both. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Just over three minutes to go. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful legs. He's hurt. Serve him up. Well, he's got him softened up here. Back to the feet. Ooh. Just out of range with that strike. Body kick is blocked. number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh, massive kick to the body. the strike coming back. Straight right, he misses. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's out! strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us the fight we played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Uncom Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he 
smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he could get his hand raised. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. This was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. 